Lauren, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. So this is your first open announcement. Um, what does it mean to you to be able to finally get to do one of these where the whole world is watching? Uh, definitely exciting, but a little nerve-wracking. I know when I got a text last week, like, asking if I wanted to do this, like, immediately my heart rate just skyrocketed at the thought of doing an open announcement, and yeah. I was like, man, I don't know if I want to do this in front of everyone. Like, am I questioning, am I fit enough? Like, am mm -hmm. I good enough to even do an open announcement? But I've been in the game now for, I've been doing this since 2012. Um, so obviously I have the experience competing in front of crowds. Like, I thrive in a competi competition atmosphere, so I'm really excited for this. Like, it's gonna be a lot of fun tonight. And, and this is a big deal. The whole world's gonna be watching. Was this ever something that you envisioned for yourself when you first kind of started your career, kind of training to be an athlete? Uh, I was just thinking about this. I was, I was warming up earlier. I was like, I had never imagined, like, 10 years ago when I started CrossFit that I would be like one of the top CrossFit Games athletes competing. Like I was just that young girl who just wanted to work out and I was really competitive and I really enjoyed it and never had I imagined that I would be one of these girls competing like at the live open announcement. So it's pretty surreal. Yeah, you know, hard work, dreams yeah. come true. Yeah. Um, and so looking at the season now, already earned an invite with, with Invictus team back in Dubai. Um, with that in mind and all the changes, how has that kind of shifted how you approach the season as an athlete and even going forward after the Open? Well, this, this year has been completely different. Like, honestly, I didn't even expect, like, whether I was going to be doing team or individual. Um, going into Dubai, we kind of threw a team together and we're like, we're going to do this more for fun. And then we realized, like, we had a really good team and yeah. we got along really well. Mm -hmm. um, and then we ended up qualifying for the CrossFit Games in December. And so we're like, okay, well, what now? We're not competing until August. And then we had planned to go to Wadapalooza as a team. Um, and then I was like, well, is individual still a question? And, I think that this year with all the changes and kind of just being a little bit unknown what's going on at going to be happening at the games like I really want to do team this year you know, I know there's going to be 16 teams going so it's going to be really competitive and now with the super teams as well it makes it really more appealing for me because I can put together the four best athletes on one team even though we don't train together all the time so um, this year has just been a lot of fun and I'm excited to see what happens yeah and so now kind of maybe maybe this is beyond this season but where does competing as an individual kind of fit in because you know you've made yeah. multiple CrossFit games as an individual yeah. as well um, Honestly, I don't look past like one year. It's hard to kind of set your goals on what the next season will look like. Sure. So I think focusing now on this season and my team, like we want to win the CrossFit game. So right now we're preparing for that um, and focusing on this season. Then after um, the 2019 season, we'll reevaluate and then I'll figure whether or not um, I want to do individual. But mm -hmm. it's definitely still obviously in the up in the air. Sure, sure. Yeah. And so you guys have been to a couple sanctionals like you just mentioned. What's been your impression of those of those competitions and this new kind of sanctional format so far? Uh, I think it's a lot of fun. Like I think it's actually great for the athletes. We get to travel and compete. I know it's a lot harder for us to like rally up all the expenses to travel like to all these different countries. Um, but I think it's really great exposure. Like we're going to China in April and oh, nice. not many times do like us athletes get to go somewhere like China and compete in like yeah. the CrossFit community over there. So I think it's really fun and really different. Um, so change, it, change is good sometimes. It can be scary, but it's good. Yeah. And so you kind of have a u unique perspective. You've kind of grown up in this sport, um, yeah. starting so long ago as a younger athlete. You've seen it evolve. And in your mind, what do you think would you like to see happen in the next two to three years to kind of help the sport to continue to grow and, and improve? Um, I think I, li I really like this qualification process. Um, and so, I mean, honestly, just kind of getting everyone like behind the scenes, getting everyone kind of on one page and maybe having like a, a committee, like an Olympic committee, mm -hmm. and they're the ones deciding like the sanctioned competition, like what the events are going to be at the sanctioned competition. So like they're deciding the workouts rather than just sending, going to the sanctionals and them deciding like what the workouts are going to be. I think that if there's one committee who's like kind of the secretive committee deciding all the workouts, like I think that would be really good for the sport. Um, and then maybe end up paying like judges and just making it more like professional sport. I mean, we are like that, but yeah, yeah. we're new, so we're obviously headed in that direction. Yeah, so there's still some it's learning curve. Yeah. yeah, totally, totally. And so uh, last question, you know, we're here at Diablo CrossFit. I mean, you grew up kind of close by Manteca. Mm -hmm. What do you hope to see come out of the hopper to throw down here up in NorCal? I love some deadlifts right. and I love muscle ups and handstand push ups. So if de deadlifts, muscle up, handstand push up, that would be really fun. So if any of those show up, I'll be happy. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for joining. Yeah, thank you for having me.